This time, each and every Wednesday, we have our best girlfriend, Susie Wall, come on to talk fashion and all things Chatelaine. Take a look at the cover on newsstands right now. Cool summer, but we are transitioning to fall, and that's what you're talking about. Yeah, you know what? In the next few weeks, it's going to start changing. Um, getting that, it's interesting in Vancouver, right? Because in those September mornings, it's cold and chilly, and everyone's kind of like falls here in the morning. And then by the afternoon, you're sweating, you're baking, yeah. you're wishing you're in your bikini. Yeah. So great transition pieces that you may already own. One of these you already do or own, I believe. Yes. Um, to consider as we move through that in the next, you know, we got a while, we got a few weeks, but things to think about that you already have in your wardrobe that you can wear, that you can maybe layer, start off in the morning, take them off in the afternoon. The Cardi, the cotton Cardi. Everybody knows that we want to start wearing those big chunky knits. They think fall, they think forest green, they think too hot, too, too hot. hot, too hot. Wait until around Halloween for that. I love this long gray Cardi paired with the denim short, right? Some leg. Here's a nice, um, this is more of a, a, a really lightweight um, cotton. Uh, trench, but see how she's paired it against shorts. It's okay to have that hanging down, but still showing some leg. So it's kind of fall. It's kind of summer. I dig it. Yeah, you dig it, and it's classy too. So you can actually rock it. Yeah. But it's also cozy if you're sitting on the patio and the sun goes down, so and cute. then it's function. And it's and it's not jarring. It's not yeah. a bright hot color. Also, right. another big fashion trend: the baseball cap. So we've seen this pop up through spring into summer. Now for fall, how much do you love this? Wear yours with a sports team emblazoned on emblazoned on the front. They're sincere. Sincerely, Jules, of course, um, beloved blogger. See how she's flipped hers around so you can see her face. It's a sparkly skirt. So cute, right? It's casual, it's glamour, what, it's tomboy. What are what? the shoes? Okay, we're dressing it up at one end. A wedge, right? Okay. Exactly. Business, what is it? Business and a party and a yeah. whatever. It's a mullet. It is a fashion mullet because we've got the ball cap. <laughs> the, what is that, a Yankees hat? I don't know, you yes, tell me. That's With Yankees the lace. Cap. She could be going to a wedding. She'd take off the hat, she of could. course. But it's really mix and match. It's kind of high, it's kind of low. Business up front, party in the back. Don't wear a baseball going. Cap though with your or a, a ponytail with your baseball cap because that's too oh, sporty. Okay. Keep, notice how all those girls had their hair down. Yes. Big time style. Down tech. and done. Down and done. The baseball cap is not hiding <laughs> the fact that you just got out of bed with your head. Exactly. Gotcha. <laughs> Denim shirt. We all need one. We all, all have them. one. I always talk about these. Choose one that you can put in the dryer and not have to iron or steam and just roll with it. Here's a dressed up version tucked into a skirt. This is a real big blogger look right now with the kind of full volume silk screen print. But that's a really chic look. What? Wow. So 40s. I love this. I've got a, a Levi's version that I've had for years. I wash it. I dry it. I go. I can but see Catherine Hepburn wearing that. So beautiful, right? Yeah. And I also really love the bleached out version of the denim mm -hmm. shirt. That's a great transition. We want kind of milky tones. Not acid wash. No. Bleached out yeah. denim. There's Skip a difference. On that. Yeah. <laughs> Take a faded. pass on that. Sun faded. Gotcha. Uh, the linen scarf, or a scarf by any means, I think is the best transition piece. Here's a beautiful sort of monochromatic look at some linen, gauzy, sort of muslin style ones. Doesn't have to be a fortune. It doesn't have to be a fortune. You know, Albaki, uh, Trina Peak, Vancouver designer, hers are all charitable. It goes right. towards her South Sudan Wells. I love this one, pale blue with the fedora. She's really accessorized, this girl, but it works. I am personally not a huge fan of the infinity scarf. I think it's a bit limiting mm. if you are going to buy just That's one. That's the all one The, the piece. circular one. Right. Um, I would go for, I like to tie mine around my waist and around my head. You want to do stuff with it. I find infinities to be limiting. Next up, uh, the white jean. White jeans Such an 80s ball. bomb to say that they're not thought... okay after Labor Day. Okay, that's, that's so 80s. Okay. That's so pre global warming. It's <laughs> hot here until October. <laughs> she's adorable. I mean, she's also you a thoroughbred. Fashion into <laughs> global warming. But notice here how she's got these sort of tobacco toned booties with yeah. this. I love the little roll. Don't be afraid to do that. Black and white with the booty can be a little jarring. Let's take a look at the next one. I love this look. The pointed black heel. Classic. And she's got that denim shirt. She's right. on her way to a fashion show. But look at her. She's wearing jeans. She's a jean queen. Jean queen with nice shoes. Right? Not rocking, rocking your sneaks. And 5'11 doesn't hurt. 5'11 <laughs> does not hurt. Say the little people. Susie Wall giving us the transition. You get the long, light, little bit of a uh, trench slash sweater. Call it that. Right, that right. and uh, the uh, scarf, scarf for sure are okay. my two go tos. But I gotta go. Where do we get the denim shirt? Aritzia, TNA. Okay, gotcha. We're taking a break.